guys, um, got a video for you guys that's going to be on my Altoid Survival 10. Um, basically, I've had this thing for a while, but only recently have I made improvements to actually be able to use in a survival situation. Um, to me, I don't think these things are ever finished. I think these things are always evolving. You're always putting new stuff in it. You're always changing things. You're always coming up with new ideas. So I wouldn't say that this Altoid Survival 10 is finished. I don't think, I don't think most are. I think you can always make changes to them to make them always better. So, basically, I've had this thing for about two years. I saw a video on one I thought it was really cool, so I made one myself really quick. And at the time, it wasn't really that good, but I think it was only, like, about a month ago that I actually took this. I found this in my drawer, actually, because I actually lost it for a while, and um, I decided to make it better, and I actually, I actually took a lot of time, and I put some new things in here to make it better. And I actually take this with me hiking every time I go. Um, if you if you want to go check out my last video, you can actually see it. Feel free. So um, without any further ado, I'm gonna get into it and show you all the stuff that's in it, where I got it, stuff like that. So basically, on the outside, outside, um, it's just a regular red peppermint box. Got this um, for about two bucks, I think. They usually go for a dollar fifty, but at the time I thought, why go to another store just for fifty cents? Not really worth it. So on the side, as you can see, I have some electrical tape. I put some electrical tape around the side um, to keep it sealed tight, so just in case it falls in water, it doesn't get inside. And I also have four strands, or four pieces, um, that make it shut and make it sealed so it doesn't open up on me. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And what's cool about this is it's, it's, it'll stay sticky, so you don't have to worry about changing it too often. So this is my survival tin. Um... I'm going to start with the top and I'm going to make my way down to this part, but I'm going to start here. At the top left, I got a striking pad for matches. I forgot where I got this little piece. I, don't, I really have no idea where I got this. Anyways, um, I got this little um, piece of fishing line that actually came in another survival kit, but I can't remember. What, what, I think it was um one of those cheap Chinese-made um hunting knives where you screw them up the bottom and they have all that cool little stuff. I think I got it from there. Next I have a, a razor blade. These can come in handy very much for cutting wire, cutting stuff like this, separating, separating bait, many uses with this. Next I got um, three lead weights. And in a survival situation I don't know how these would come in handy but they're there just in case I need the, the string or the bait to sink to the bottom. Next I got a total of, uh oh I lost one. No, no it's down here. Um, total of seven hooks. I got three medium sized hooks, um, a little tiny one that I found right now, um, two other tiny ones but they have a longer, they have a longer little, this thing right here, and then I got one big red one, just in, so I have a variety of sizes, just in case I could see what fish are in the water, if I, if I can see what fish are in the water, so I can kind of choose the size, that's appropriate. Next I got a little bit of power bait that I took out of, obviously a power bait tin, or little you know what I'm talking about, capsule. Um, I, I figured that in a survival situation, any food you come across should be should be for you, not for the fish. So why not put some bait in there? It doesn't really take up much room, so yeah, it's there. So that, that does it for all the fishing stuff. I'm going to get to the, the more important part down here. Um, I got eight Strike Anywhere matches. Um, got these actually at a yard sale um, there was this ammo box just full it was actually a big survival kit and I got it for I think 10 bucks it was really cool it was really old too it came in like one of those old 50 cal ammo boxes pretty cool so that's that and um next I got a spider coat grasshopper no you know what this isn't a grasshopper this is actually the honeybee this is the um, the the middle one there's a bug there's the honeybee and then you got the grasshopper so I got the middle one right here um, I really like this knife. I had it in my back pocket for a long time. So much to the point where I accidentally brought it to school a couple times. It was actually pretty bad. I don't recommend bringing knives to school. It's kind of dumb and stupid. Um, not on purpose that I bring it to school. It was, at, it was on accident. And, um, I forgot what I did. I think it was only once or twice I did that. But Anyways, I, I had this for a long time. I really like this knife. Um, it's very cute. It's very tiny. It was very useful too, and um, I use it so much that you guys see scratches on the blade. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a lot of scratches, and um, the top right here is actually missing the tip. And a little bit of the blade is chipped off, so like I actually put this knife through a lot of work. 
Spartaco Honey Bee. I think I got it for about $15, which is a pretty good deal. So that's that. Next, I got a little sewing kit. Um, this actually came with the wire, I mean the fishing string right here. It's a pretty cool little convenient um, sewing kit. It actually fit very perfect in here, so I'm really excited about this so, little sewing kit. Next, I got um, six ibuprofen. Um, in case you get a he bad headache, you hear you're hurt or something, these will come in handy. I have six of them, and I sealed them up in a little Ziploc bag that I cut a little. I cut the corner off, and I put some electric tape to seal it. Seal it. Next, I got a carabiner. These can come in handy in a survival situation for obvious reasons. Next, I got a spare striking pad just in case something happens to this one. Even though there are strike anywhere matches, um, it's cool. It's best just to use a striking pad if it's there. Paper thin, so it doesn't really make much difference. So that's that. Next, um, I actually got some dental floss um, just in case this fails. This is always very. This is very strong. I got this at the dentist. Um, they gave me like a little tiny. Um, dental floss thing, and I actually saw someone with this exact same little thing in there. I was like, oh, I think I have one of those. And I went to the bathroom, broke it open, and what do you know, I found one. So, pretty cool. Next, I got a little um, piece of paracord with a compass on it. And at the time, I didn't notice this, but the compass was actually broken. So, I was kind of upset about that, but I, need to, I think I need to go buy a new one. It was at the Dollar Tree, so I'm not going to bother him over one stupid little thing. It was really cool. So I got this. Um, next, I got a little bit of um, hot glue, or yeah, the, for the hot glue gun, you put it in the back and you squeeze it, it comes out. Um, if you if you guys ever tried this, um, or be careful when you try this, um, if you put it on fire, it, it actually makes it a lot faster the process. So I have one of these just in case um, I want to burn something or tie something together. I have this little glue. Next, I got a piece of um, tin foil. You can use this for a lot of things. You can use this for signaling. Signaling. It's very bright. You can use it for cooking your food. You can use it for storing food. You can use it as a bowl for water, stuff like that. This can come. In, this is very handy, so it's, it's good to have one of those. Next, um, I got five dollars just in the case I need to buy something. Actually, come. It's five dollars. It's it's there. It's paper thin. Yeah, I'm gonna put this over here. Next, I got Morse codes. Um. My last video, I actually have, you know, I'm going to go get the knife. I have a knife that actually has Morse code on it, so I just took what's on this and I added it to this. So I have Morse code on paper. It's paper thin, obviously, so it doesn't take up much room. Next, I got some um, Neosporin. I got this from a first aid kit, and it's really tiny and slim, so I thought this would be pretty neat to put in here. Put this right here. Next, I got some butterfly bandages. These are pretty hard to come by. I don't really see these a lot in the pharmacy section. I was looking, I think, like three different stores. I couldn't find these. So, yeah, I don't know about where you guys live, but around where I live, I couldn't find any. I might be wrong. Probably run wrong, but yeah. Next, I got um, two hand cleansing wipes. You don't want to get sick when you're, while you're stranded. That could be very dangerous. So, sanit. sanit Mm. Sanitizing is always important, so I have two of those. Next, I got a tiny little band-aid right here, and two large ones. So that about does it for my Altoids survival tin. Hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, it's not the best, and probably will never be. But as I said, they're always improving. They're never finished, in my opinion. So, um. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.